Crook. He goes level like 1 is into the Hopstopper. They're gonna commit a lot of trees, so uh. shutting that down. What do you think about PA versus Morphling 1v1 then, instead of a uh, dueling like you thought? I think Morph should win. Uh, has the range advantage. Can get more out of Bottle Crowing, I would say. He has more powerful nuke. And I think that's the reason BP are doing it. They're, they're realizing that this is probably a one lane without Lich. And then they give PA some more farm, but at the cost of what could be first blood top. But nice TP from Shaker. Oh, it could be a big block, we'll see. BZZ is going to be the target of choice. First blood goes the way of No-Tail with the longest auto attack of all time on that Earthshaker. And, you had and yeah, that TP certainly paid off. PA was killed mid the way. Who got first blood then? Okay, Morphling got PA after that. Radiance that's, 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 that's a bigger kill. Attack. That's an even bigger kill. Let's bottle for G. Try to force away his... stifling dagger. Uh oh. He's gonna run right into No Tail with that newly first blood. Doesn't have a chant totem or anything like that. Not that it would matter. It's a wooden stun. He's, He's continuing to morph. A long time. 300 damage. Radiance Can't get him out. He has no mana whatsoever. <laughs> and that's a kill for S4. But of course, he splits that XP three ways. So not yeah. quite the same impact. Morph is still as full level ahead. Indeed. And the thing about S4's item build in this mid lane, he's got four man shield first and some tangos. Oh but... boy, Kuroki top lane all alone. This is what happens. Oh, never mind. Puppy's here. <laughs> Can't quite kill him. Actually, stays very long, but. Oh, we'll see if up paying dividends. They're gonna get one kill out of it. So one for one, definitely not a good trade for Secret. No tail. Oh my god, this Big isn't happening. Oh kill. How is this happening? Uh, no tail is everywhere. And He's been the a problem died every kill. Any, the Baton died because he got the kill with Mist Coil. He got so low that he could die to Poison State. <laughs> this is hilarious. If he had denied wow. himself, that would what have been a, a huge win for Secret. Mid lane G. Laying down the law. He's still out leveling pretty big time, although we just talked about 30 seconds ago, so chances that change is pretty unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom lane, we haven't talked about it at all, by the way. So, Bat Rider versus Timbersaw. What do you think about this matchup? Looks like a wash for now, and I think that makes sense. Both of them are just going to farm. Neither can really initiate very well into the other. If someone has an edge when the fight breaks out, it's probably Timbersaw when he gets level 6. But until then, Batrider can stack up all the napalm he wants, but he'll never get a chance to kill Zidane. He can always super chain away, so he can play like this, which and very few heroes charges. can against Bat. Yeah, Good he's going to have 10 sticks. He should just use them now, I think, to start getting more charges. I mean, we're looking at Secret Sign. I'm so used to seeing them with such great gank potential, but Abaddon, obviously very defensive in nature. Gonna have to use Aquatic Shield on himself. Stifling Dagger and LNG, but I'm used to seeing like Marana from the sideline, Vengeful Spirit, something with like a... Dead. Urshak could pretty much get by this time, and an easy kill. Bane's gonna get it. Not sure if that was intended or not, but either way, they get the kill. And all of a sudden, Misery has taken over bottom lane. A little bit surprising to me how he suddenly got a 10 CS lead after they were dead even. Experience um, still in the form of, or still in the advantage of Sadoi. See yep. how big of a threat that ends up being. He still has oh, the Sadoi Tango. Five stacks, has his ulti, trying to chop down some trees. He's gonna fall. Misery though, if he trades his life, he's nice he bottling. He's oh, that's close! That's gonna be it. He actually died because he wanted to sticky napalm, I think. Probably could have run in a straight line and lived, but that's really important for y'all to get back in that. And I want to say, this is not a lane timber should be dying to, one on one. He overextended, he used his sticks too late, got in kind of a pretty bad position for, for jumping as fault. That's not oh, gonna work out, catches him on the wrong side. Counter TP. TP. No, not gonna so go I'm not further. interested in going for that one. Jotum level and no four. Tower get the room. Man, Lich is just gaining so many levels. I mean, ever since they changed Sacrifice, we haven't seen him. Really, nah, it's not too late games in certain situations, but still, 30 seconds on the deck is a pretty big deal in the early stages of the game. Lich just about to hit level 6. He's going to be the last one to do so. That's a big one. Echo Slam, Fissure, Enchant Totem. I don't think he has enough without some help, but Misery's here. No Tail. Oh my god, look at the damage. The lasso, along with the firefly. That's him. Better be careful. He's gonna get finished off. Sadoi. No. Well, he's gonna trade his life, but that is a, an amazing trade if you really think about it. Man, that's getting killed on Necrophone. Speaking of trades. And that's with the help of Morphling. 
So Necrophil is getting pretty much nothing at the moment. Dyer's top Has tread. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this prediction. Whoever gets two towers first is gonna win the game. We'll see if that holds true. Okay. Because I two think towers. this game right now is so much about who has who gets to move around the map. And if if VP are able to get this bot tier one anytime soon with Venom as well as the mid, they're looking so good for for potential on the map. They're gonna grip on Nice, nice. nice picture on both him and BZZ. They're gonna get the first kill. And the second one to follow, the poison that is used is going to force everybody out. He's going to heal puppy a little bit, in fact. And away they go. Kuroki, though, he's here. Can they reinitiate back into this? Not sure if Fissure's going to be back online. Chain Frost is available. It's up. Shot him extremely on. low. Down he goes. No, so the is the only one up here. And there's the Necrophos. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be enough to finish him off, but it wasn't. G. He's trying to be cleanup crew. Abaddon goes down. We got one. In the end. Now it's a 1v1 versus Kuroki. This didn't end too well last he's time. He's not gonna get this kill. 1400 gold now on Kuroki, just like that. And S4 wasn't there. So this means the mid-tier one is gonna take some pretty significant Dyer's damage down to half. Top lane tower is down to a third. And I was talking about VPs. If they if they get two towers first, they'll just start keep pressuring the map with Venno and more flink split pushing and just farm more than Secret will and, and get some key pickoffs. But on the on the contrary, if Secret are the one getting those kills, yeah, this is mid and not this is not gonna happen. If Secret are the ones getting the towers, they can roam with that bat rider and find kills. And Necrophos can just free farm, and that mid game is gonna lightning is gonna be a nightmare for the game. So towers so so important in the next ten minutes. Lasso was so close there, but. Not gonna happen this time around. And in fact, he has 1,900 gold. You're talking about he's farming well. He's really farming well. He's gonna get that four step not too far away. G with that Midas has 2k gold. Is this a? You talked about the early shotgun. We'll talk about that in a second. We're gonna have initiation bottom perhaps. Blink. Flame burn. Firefly lasso. It's gonna be tough to get out of this one. In fact, he goes down. Oh, you always trying to help. He was. I think he's gonna be okay. They don't have a whole lot of mobility other than the Batrider, and without Lasso, it's not a whole lot. Of, I mean, Earthshake, and once he gets that blink, then you have more possibility for diving the tower. But what was I saying? Oh, shotgun. Do you go right away? Lincoln's against Necrophos ult. You think yeah, he ends up going BKB this game? I don't know. I, I feel like one of the two is needed. Link's their BKB against Necrophos. Is Lincoln's Stryker, really good, though? I think so. It's good against Bat until he has a force and then he can break it. But Stryker is actually just going to get all the time. Echo Slam being popped into a chance for the goal goes by, but that's the first step to the game. Destroy! Beautiful! Chakram dealing so much damage. He does find his way to Grand Hour. BZZ chopped down by Big Daddy No-Tail. Jump has no man to speak of, but it's not going to matter. Here comes Necrophos. Oh, bye-bye. That is a two for four. Morphly, the lone survivor for VP. Long enough. Boots to travel on strong. Oh, yes. Dyer's Dyer's middle tower. Kuroki level fallen. 11 now. Oh and boy, Dyer's Radiant took two towers. Tower you know what that means for the prophecy. Uh, GG, guys. GG. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, this the way this game is, this isn't just about the towers now. So it's a little bit unfair, because the game isn't even apart from the towers. Secret also have a lead on top of that, so... Right. If it were just a flat out even game on on Golden XP, I still think the map control, just this early map control, will be such a big snowball factor in this particular game compared to a lot of others. But well, see, not much else going on for now. And both teams now have to do this because it's a G or die G because that feels absolutely ridiculous. Echo Slam is on top of it. Can they get a big crit? Is it gonna matter? He is still alive somehow. S4 lands that not so lucky. Goes down to Sedoi. No tail. Extremely slow thanks to BZZ. More playing. Did he use a replicator to break him down? Flying out. John's gonna go down to the parochial, but he's gonna fall shortly after the three for one disastrous fight for Secret overall. As Abaddon gets slept, misery, is there anything he can do for his comrade? Don't think so. And that is four kills going the way of VP. Could they get more? I don't know. Misery's Firefly is about to end. He'll be close if he can oh, get a couple nice more shot. spells upon him. He's out. Now he has absolutely nothing but Blink. TP. Oh, you're stuck. I was going to try to try to check him if we get the kill. But he thought Misery was out. Still, that's just, that's so huge for VP that G gets out there with, by the skin of his teeth. 
Yeah, there we go. Bad Rider right. has to go BKB. Yes. Yeah, he's starting PA to go. PA almost right has hers. Bad Rider almost has his. And he should be seeing this. Uh, yeah. Probably. If he's seen the Ogre Club on PA, she, she obviously will go BKB if she has to. So I, once again, I don't think e Blade is the path to take at this point. I think the combat morph is nice and try to shut down the Necro. Although, if Necro doesn't want to BKB, oh, then e Blade be has a lot more value. Oh, if he gets a TP, this is going to be a big ult. Okay, he just blocking him off, just being annoying. Away. That is a sweet ass looking fissure, by the way. Love it. Yeah. Just a bunch of coins. Radiant's <laughs> top tower is under attack. Yeah, tier 1 tower in all likelihood Radiant's is dead. Structures are fortified. What does Secret get out of this? Nothing at the moment. They're going to start to push tier 2 bot. Mano steals that last fallen. hit. From four more planes, he needs the minus desperately. So he replicates the mid lane to do just that. Dyer's bottom <laughs> tower is under attack. 3,500 gold on him. That's a thousand gold I'm really in really surprised that people minute. just let Secret do this. Looks like they might. No. Yol is gonna go in now, but there's no fortify in this guy. Double TP action. Yol is gonna have to before he can use any spell Venom ult. It is Ag, like we talked about. S4 pops his BKB. He's gonna TP out. He's gonna get cancelled from the chain frog. Blinks out trying to get somebody. BZZ taking a crit to the face. Does S4 go back in is the question. That's a 10 second BKB, mind you. Misery has blink available. Nice blink up from S4 onto Kuroki. Oh, they have no idea he went there. looking for more. They can't find anybody. Radiance top tower. What a blink up misery. And S4 can go back in now. Although G's right behind him. Yeah, G's gonna want this fight for sure. Oh, G. It's gonna take a lot of damage. It's not, but it is! The Necro also is down, but of course that is the Aegis. So none of the extra benefits from that Reaper Scythe will come into effect. And I believe Echo Slam is still up and available. So No Tail wasn't able to maneuver himself. This was a good really good skirmish from Secret. Very well done. They got the kill, they almost got the tower, they saved the PA with a really nice show up from Kuro, giving the blink strike, and then they do bait and morph again, get a free kill and just back out. They lost nothing on that. One BKB charge, if you will, <laughs> on S4 was the was the trade-off thing. Uh, keep in mind, as the later the game goes and the BKBs get less and less effective as far as uh, duration concerned. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Venom ult, if you use it, before you, like, the Venom ult is used, you BKB, once the BKB is up, the Venom ult continues, correct? Yes, it's just sticks just double checking. Puppy and that also down. means that the soon-to-be Aghanims on Timbersaw is going to be real this year. This hero does scale very well into, into late game compared to what it used to, just because of that Ag's chain and nothing else. It's just, it's twice the damage on that skill, right? You just throw two and you have the mana pool and you have the bloodstone, so... Come, let's see how far is it away. It's just, he is 1200 away from the Ags. Completed to let him this one. That's going to be a huge pickup. Then it's just a matter for VP about living through the burst, and then he can start wrecking shit. He's going to deal massive amounts of damage. Level 3 chakram now as well. And you're right about G, he's going for that Manta, unless it's an S and Y, which would be fitting for this tournament, obviously. <laughs> S4, still Pretty 9 second BKB. Mediocre on more. <laughs> Why? It's, it's a great utility item. And we have a nice offensive ward from Jotam. To the enemy jungle. There's the BKB finish for Batrider. So the Yules, I don't think I've seen a Yules cancel uh, the lasso initiation. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm, um, no, I don't think we have. But now we no, probably will have. Won't yeah, we probably won't see that now, for sure. Unless it's later. I don't think it's the only merit to getting the Yules, oh, no, no, though, of course. for a BZZ. And there's oh, a veil. He gets veil over blink. I still oh, think blink would have been. This is greedy, right? Because now there's the risk that he can't get the angle. Puppy and company gonna play it safe. There's the abyssal blade officially. This could be a big surprise factor. They can go back in. No, never mind. It's not a surprise factor anymore. Plague words. They might not have seen it though. It's, he's only shown it for like three seconds. True. I just I just assume so, that they're constantly clicking. This is clicking, the though. hero VP can't get caught out. I think. Or there are two. It's Morphling and it's Timber. They lose Over the rush. fight with Timber to, to Necro. He has to either survive the, the Necro or die to something else, basically. Alright, S4 takes it to Kuroki. I would give it to Kuro, I think. S4 is probably not gonna die the way this is going. Yeah, has said they give it to S4. 
No, I agree. I think Necro is one of the best. Uh, well, maybe not one of the best. He's a really good counter. Aegis carrier. P is not that bad. No, it's, she's probably really good too. She has BKB. It's another eight second. Or she didn't even use it in that last fight. Holy shit! S4 so can just play BKB aggressively still. now. The difference is he can force a reaction by going in because they have to deal with him, and he just doesn't use BKB on his first life. And then afterwards, he pops BKB, maybe the abyssal on the second life, and then he's really dangerous. I understand a lot. I think it's good on both. It's really on the all and all night duels, but I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say that Bane is dead. G doing what he can about lane. Plague Wars. Good split push. I'm getting close to a mech. Someone was porting, but got cancelled. Who's that? Not sure. Puppy cancelled his port to bottom. This means G Enemy will be getting this tower, tower, and I don't know if, if Secret can just get in here. They're oh, they're gonna jump in a Vistal Blade. Venomancer's gonna be getting this way get anything off. In fact, Venomancer goes down to the Necro. That's 105 seconds on the deck. Esport still has the Aegis off to work with, and the BKB already popped though. He's gonna go for this tower now. Morphling still bottom lane. Fortify is not up. This is gonna be at least the tower, if not more. Can they defend without a better man? If he didn't pop any of his skills, because he was completely firm, they're gonna try to go for the range rack. G, adaptive strike's really not gonna be too scary at this current point in time. Range racks, gonna be the first to go down in all likelihood. The Lincoln is down, here comes the jumping again. Beautiful Echo Slam on three, into the figures. They completely blow up the Lich Bane by back, where he immediately into the game. S4, trying to get as much as he can with his Aegis. They're gonna clean up. Morphly, the only one alive. Bane bot back. This is gonna be a full set of racks. Can Secret do it? Could this be their first tournament win as champions, as a team? With Misery as their new stand-in. They're gonna go directly top lane. 53 seconds still on Venomancer. This is fucking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Unbelievable. That that one jump just won the game, probably. They're gonna get two lanes cracks. There's kind of no counterplay. Oh, Y'all are gonna up again. Oh my god, this is sick. And it's just... It looked like DP were gonna hold that defense, but that beautiful jump from Misery to set up the fight entirely. He found the, one of the key targets. Venno is another really good one. I was talking about uh, Morph and Temper. Venno is top well. In a way, just as important, if not even more important than, than the Morphling at this point because of his defensive Dyer's item build. Venno deals more damage. And taking him out for 100 just enables them to go in Radiant's easily here. They still even have the attack. Aegis. They didn't even get S4 killed. Played with all the confidence in the world because VP just didn't have the damage there. Now S4 G still has the Aegis. <laughs> G is now going to get an MKB as a desperation measure. Morphling? Yeah, I, I feel like he's just—he's really paid for his item build this game. It's taken too long simply to come online. The boots of now travel he might be super strong, risky. but they're, they're two lanes down, and this is when he's—this is when he's starting to deal damage. This game it feels like it's just too late. Puppy's going to get a haste. Aegis is up for another two minutes. They could do this all over again. They just get megas. Like, there's nothing stopping Secret at the moment. The MKB is going to be a surprise, but we'll see how much difference it actually ends up making. Obviously not an item you want to get on a oh, stat gee. base hero like Morphling. If he gets jumped, they it's know he doesn't have buyback. There's no way he has buyback. The question is if VP wants to try to fight at this tower. They still don't have a blink on Venno. It's going to be really hard for BZZ to get in and get that ulti off. This looks familiar. This looks like TI2. Smoke tower underneath the tower, but... Attack. Secrets a little bit the name of the game. The tier two. Patience from BZZ. Patience waiting from in the wings. <laughs> is that the imitation of LD? <laughs> Could this be? Could this be the counter? This is going to be the last stand. Puppy talked about the, the counter to his own no tail. He's going to get four staff. He gets the echo stop on three here. Two get blown up right off the bat. G trying to do as much damage as possible. All he gets is the earth shaker. Puppy and company trying to do as much damage. In that necro ult that's it. He cannot buy back in the game. Secret are going to be your fucking champions. I don't know why I said fucking. That's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> oh my god. What a game played from Secret and BP. This was one of the most entertaining series I have ever cast. Congratulations to Secret, winning 3-2, they take it the distance. Oh man, what a series. Wow. You were right about pretty much everything apart from a few things. You said five <laughs> games. You said VP were going to win, which was wrong. Yeah, you did call right. VP was going to win last game, which was also wrong, and against <laughs> your original statement of five games. But apart from that, you were spot on today. Great predictions. Thank you. I'm always Man, what good. a sick game, though. I...
you gotta say, I really feel like when we cast, I, I feel like No-Tail really comes up big in these games. He played such an amazing shaker this game. He pretty much sealed the whole early game, which is what propelled Secret into a good game. Previous games, same story with Tusk, really kept them in the series. and. He had to really perform in the last two series, and did he do it? And the rest of the team just followed through. Everyone played a really good game in this one. But, wow. Crazy. I, you gotta say, these were the right two teams to have in the finals, and anyone is the right winner for me of this series, to be honest. Really, What really a diplomat you are, Cinderin. Yeah, do you feel like Secret just... Counts. We're just on another level no, of EP no, no, today? <laughs> no, not at all. That was very even. This could have gone either way. Absolutely. A great series. All right, so this is the end of the XMG Captain's Draft 2.0. We hope you enjoyed. I have a lot of thanks to give, so you might want to go first, Cinderin, if you want to say any last words, that is. This is uh, not the time for silence. No, it's not. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, just, it's good if you say something, though. Well, I have a lot, a lot of things. You want me to talk for a while? I can do that. All right, okay. thank you everyone for watching. It was a great tournament. Here comes Sun's fans. Epic monologue. Enjoy right. it. Well, I think we're on this first part. So we're going to be doing a red, uh, threaded, a threaded. Threaded? Hey, that's pretty good. A thread on Reddit for feedback on this tournament in the next couple days, I'm assuming. I mean, it's mostly up to you when you want to do that. Yeah, one of the next days, including, I believe we do combine that with an AMA as well. If you guys have any questions outside sure. of the tournament, but it's it's both things. All right, so. We've promised it. We will deliver. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, that's that's one of our stretch goals. <laughs> Get feedback. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks to the sponsors. First and foremost, XMG Logitech, 100TB.com, Crucial Ballistics, Need for 